My friend, it's good to see you this morning. Good morning, Gazemir. How are you today? I'm doing quite well. How are you? Doing well as well. Been busy tonight. Have you seen the fog today? Mm. <clears throat> I haven't been out yet, but... I'm sure it's a great fog. You know, being a coastal city and everything. <laughs> Do be careful. You know. Don't want anyone to uh, take advantage of it, other than us, of course. <clears throat> well, in, in the city, the fog should be no problem, but I'll make a point of not going down any less than populated alleyways. <laughs> Very smart. I figured I would uh, swing by this morning and check in with you, make sure everything's going okay with our new uh, business venture and whatnot. Mm. Yeah, on that front, things are going well. As for, I, I, as for other things, mm. I do have matters to discuss with you, so it is very good that you showed up this early. <clears throat> very well. What's on the agenda today? Well, first off, I don't know if you've heard, but some goods have disappeared from the tavern recently. <clears throat> mm. I have heard. Causing a little bit of uh, unrest in the people. I, I tried to look into it, see if any would-be bandits would brag about it, but I unfortunately have heard nothing about it. Hmm. Perhaps a professional like job, then. It's all that, and it's all but disappeared, from what, I, from what I can tell. Whoever did this, they're pretty darn good. <clears throat> hmm, I see. Though, it's from the things of what I've heard, it's mostly food, so not too much to be worried about. The Gerbom is a bit of a rat anyway. An ex-pirate, they heard. Can't trust him. <laughs> I've known him on and off for, for a few years, but... I've never gotten a full read on his character. <laughs> <clears throat> no, me neither. But he lets me gamble in the tavern, and that's all that I care about. <laughs> <laughs> then how bad could he really be, hmm? <laughs> Maybe, but I don't trust anyone I can't get a full read on. Oh, you can get a full read on me? Or do you not trust me? Listen, you set up all this. Even if I can't get a full read on you, you put more coins in my pocket, that makes it more than enough. You've bought my trust. Very well. <laughs> Is that all you heard um, about these goods missing? Nothing else, else going around in, around town? No. At least nothing related to the goods. <clears throat> Though I do have a potential business opportunity for us. Oh, they are coming thick and fast. I like it. Go on. Do you know that outsider lord, uh, Lord Erdhart or whatever? Mm hmm. Him and his brat of a son, have, from what I've heard, have come into a bit of silver that we might be able to get our hands on. <clears throat> you want to steal from I heard the they lord. took it from the robber baron. Ah, I see. Listen, better better coins align our pockets than already rich people, am I right? <clears throat> this is true. I was actually hoping to go down a different path with these two. Mm, well, let me... We could do a heist to get it, I believe. <clears throat> I don't think their estate is well guarded yet, be being outside nobles. What would you suggest? Well, if... Well, like I said, that's silver to be had. We could set something up, probably quick in and out. Probably find the, the, the silver we're looking for, and they probably won't notice a few coins missing from their coffers. <clears throat> this is very tempting. Very tempting indeed. But you are aware of these uh, cloaked figures that have been uh, hovering around the establishment, no? I've heard from our, our mutual friend of the cloaked figures hanging out, but <clears throat> at least from what I could put together, it didn't seem like they may be friends to them. No, but it is the opposite, I believe. I believe these cloaked figures are servants of Ash. They belong to the Inquisitors in town. 
pretty much unfucking killable. Now, if they have something interesting in that house that the servants of Rash are interested in, I don't really want to stick my fucking nose in it. A little too high profile for me. Not to mention, mm -hmm. I have worked with the uh, Erhards in the past. We are a, at a <clears throat> tentative agreement. If there are certain things that they cannot uh, handle, being lords and whatnot, I will take care of it on their behalf, and they pay me a good bunch of money for it. I would not like to go behind their backs just yet, at least. <clears throat> uh, we can leave the planet on the shelf for now. I'm, uh, but Where did you find this information? Easy silver. <laughs> easy silver. Um, I've heard I've heard reports from the battlefield, and the guards have loose lips when they get drunk. <laughs> I see. I don't know how <clears throat> founded it could be, but any chance to get easy silver, I'll always at least uh, listen to with an open ear. That is fair. Put the uh, we'll put the pin in it for now, and if things uh, ease up a bit, especially since I don't know too much about about that particular lord, mm. besides that he's. You know, an outside one. <laughs> let's uh, put a pin in it for now, and if things clear up, let's uh, swoop in and see if it's there. Hmm? Fair enough. Hmm. And my la the last major piece of information I have for you is it seems the majority of the farmers are growing tired of uh, the head farmer. Um, what's <clears throat> Harry, I believe? I know they won. From what I've heard, at least from the the local farmers, is they're gonna petition a noble to take his land. Any idea who this noble is going to be? There are a bunch of greedy uh, nobles up in that fucking keep. I don't know who, but such a distraction w might allow us a chance to move in and take some goods of our own. <clears throat> Interesting. Let's see how the situation develops and uh, see if we can capitalize on it, no? I'll continue to look into it, but best case scenario for us, as everything devolves and the property maybe gets bought, I feel like a few boxes could go missing and we'll be able to resell them for a profit. This is smart. Keep your ear out and see if this uh, buying goes through. Perhaps we can strike before they fully get a hold of what the inventory is. Before they get an inventory? <clears throat> yes, that would be the time. Very well. I'll keep an ear out with the farmers. From what I've from what I've heard, some of them might be causing an argue, a ruckus with him this morning. I see. So, depending on how well that goes, <clears throat> we can see quicker results than expected. <clears throat> Let us watch and wait. When the opportunity is there, we will strike. Of course. Hmm. Anyway. Anything else, or is that all? Uh, that's my major bits. The gambling is almost completely set up, and we should start seeing coin in a, f in a few days. A week, most probably. Very well. I will leave you to it, Casimir. As always, if you need me, you know how to reach me. Mm. <clears throat> you should say I made some food. <laughs> Your food? No, thank you. Tell me when Basil comes by. <laughs> I've been worried about her. I haven't seen her for a while. <clears throat> I will check well, you with her. tavern, but I mean. But anyway, <laughs> you have a good day, my friend. <laughs> and you. Stay safe in the fog. I'll try. Everywhere. It's that time of the year. Good day. Yeah, I guess so. Just hope monsoons pass us by this time. Never does. I wonder if they are still open. That's hope.
Good morning. <clears throat> uh, the Baron is, uh, a ma'am is down there. And the Baroness actually woke up wanting food today. And we <clears throat> didn't have to force it on her. That's a good sign. I just made something simple a nice venison stew. Something easy. Good. Have you seen outside yet? Yeah, on my outer patrol, I noticed the weather being a bit more foggy. <clears throat> I Just guess it's bit. that time of the year. It's the usual. Yeah. Right, I suppose I should see what's going oh. on. Much more. I'll, uh, I'll be up there. <clears throat> Sir Tiberius is out on a, uh, a job. I see. Since he's still contracted with the guild, he <clears throat> needs to make money, so... Yeah, that's fine. I've already given him permission to do it. Hmm. That's all right. Um, do you have any need of me in this morning? Hmm. Maybe. I need to go see Harry in a little bit. Might be trouble. Oh, should I go put on my armor? Yes. I'll get about ten whole minutes. <clears throat> Good luck. Yep. She's such a fine girl, isn't she? Make that promise to me that you will talk about everything that's going on with me. Yes, Mother, I will. Now, please, do get some rest.
quite an exception, Miss Minora. <laughs> Thank you, my Baron. Had it been any other fool attempting to try and kill my mother, I feel she would have died by now. But you, you were confident. You knew exactly what you were doing. know if that has come from a self preserved sense of confidence or perhaps just in everything that you do but I suppose that is not for me to pry but I would like to extend some gratitude to you for seeing my mother in such a fantastic state she can understand and see me eat again and so <coughs> Nora, I bear a man release you from your house arrest. You are vindicated. Not as long as, of course, you continue to treat the Baroness. I, I wouldn't think of leaving her son until she's fully able to return to the camp. I thought as much, but always best to test a person and their conviction. Well. Regardless, uh, Baron and Mem, I will make sure when I do leave these walls to go gather more herbs that are needed. I will make sure that I do have enough men and guards with me to make sure I stay safe. That is very wise. Would not care to have a repeat of fair maidens disappearing to places where they shouldn't. Please do stay safe. Of course, my friend. I also would ask. No, I'm sorry, Miss Venora, but I would order that everything you have heard in this room as of today, it does not leave this room. <coughs> and I am adamant yeah. about that. If I, I find out. Me. You slit lips. I'm sorry, you will forgive my mm. my brutishness. <laughs> Please. Mm, no, no, it's understandable. There's <coughs> in this world I care for more than my mother. I believe I would say the same thing if I knew my mother. Unfortunately, I never knew her. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Truly, I am. If she by chance has ever asks you the same questions, please do divert and just don't forget that I will speak on the matter myself when the time comes. Do you have one solemn word? And I hope in the future, and I hope in the future with the cop, it looks like corn back in the keep that I may have some more personal time with you both. I am certain that can be arranged. I would believe my mother would very like to know more about the woman that saved her life, and I would not but not steal that from her. No, you. Forgive me, I must be off. These untimely visits of mine, Kambarski, do not go unaccounted for. I understand, my Baron. Thank you, nonetheless. Oh, no, no. My Baron, pleasure to see you. Of course, Miss Fedora. Pleasure as well. I would like to share a conversation with you, but you'll forgive me that I am on very little time today. Of course. When you need me, send for me. I'll be there. I do hope. <laughs> Ever so dutiful. Thank you, Lord Odard. 
course. The rest of you, I would also please do be aware. The humidity is quite... well. Mm. I'm sure you have made quite note of this of our current weather predicament. We've uh, never had this deep of a fog in quite some time. Shall I accompany you to the keep? Make sure you get there safe and sound, since you only have one guard this morning. Please. Thank you. <clears throat> I must admit, I can't quite remember the last time I ever climbed ladders. <laughs> Suppose the silver spoon in my mouth has begun to show. May I ask how she is, my Baron? Or is that overstepping? No. She is in your care. She is. Blessed with your hospitality, as I as am I. <laughs> but she is doing well. She is cognitive. And she has regained an appetite, as your knight has told me. Hmm. It sounds like a marked improvement. It makes me happier. A very great marked improvement. Uh, maybe it'll be only a few days now. I can't imagine either. To be right as rain. Uh, procession. I would believe so. Here's hoping. I was skilled. I am optimistic about my mother's recovery. Hmm. I yearn to see that she will stand again on her two feet. It'd be most spectacular. Yes, what would it be? Yeah. If I could help with that little uh, fog, however. Ominous, isn't it? No, no solution yet. So, um, I think that only a couple of paces forward, you could almost no longer see ahead. Even I have difficulty cutting through it with my eyes. Can't imagine what it's like on the water. That you both will remain within the walls, perhaps. Might be wise, you do. Yes, my baron, that, that is wise. Uh, hmm. uh, good morning. Hmm. Uh, my baron. Ease, Godman. Especially with the recent attacks. I'll uh, leave you to it, my Baron. I'm sure you Thank can you. find your way from here. I would hope I know my own keep by now. <laughs> Thank you, Godard. <laughs> of course. Be well to the both of you. And you. Oh, be well. Did God save you? I think that's a term. All right, let's see if we can catch up with... Uh, I, I forget uh, which era of medieval <coughs> we're in, where you say, God save you, or God be with you. Well, there are a few gods, so you might need to... Uh... Oh, you're right. Maybe maybe we just do the shotgun approach here and say all of them. Like, gods be with you. That's not a bad one. Um, this area is traditionally with Asara, so if you feel oh. fancy enough, say Asara be with you. Or, I don't know if... That conflicts with your personal I ideas. Default to Sota. I know. Yeah, that's it's one of those. <clears throat> <laughs> morning. Good morning. Right. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Oh. Uh, yeah, okay. why not? Oh. Uh, I'm dealing with pissed off farmers. At the moment. I actually came here to warn you of that. Yes, they've um, I've heard rumors. They're demanding more than what the goods were worth. Apparently, um, <clears throat> they might stir up some shit and then petition to have you replaced and sell your farm to a lord. I don't know if you've heard that yet, but that's what I've heard. 
Mm, I'm going to assume that Tiberius already talked to you about that type of a problem. Not yet. I haven't seen him today. I asked him to tell you that yesterday, for, well, two days ago. Ah. <clears throat> I can see he's not <laughs> trustworthy enough for that type of information. That's um, We've been very busy. Costly. He may have said it to me and I may have forgotten. <laughs> That's been 110 problems. The farmer, one of the farmers are claiming that 43 units of raw food is worth 14 silver. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a bit uh, outrageous, isn't if it? If that was what? true, I would be a noble yeah. at this point. <laughs> okay, um, how do we rectify this? Well, the main problem started with the theft. Yes. I looked into it, and the supplies have all but vanished. I don't think it was just random brigands we would have heard about it. Something then professional. Then we need to have somebody stationed inside. At this point, we don't care if they know they're in there or not. We need somebody oh, in there, otherwise this is going to cause a big problem. Mm. I'll talk to Kaboom about hiring some personal mercs or something of the sort. He has a favor, oh, technically he's using his favor with Wolf. Wolf can always spend his time in there. Okay, I'll definitely and bring it up. if he has to hire him. more than... So be it. It just needs to be secure. But more than likely they're getting the guards calling me a thief. <laughs> well, that's not true. Well, they couldn't have broken in. That door's pretty solid. Have you checked around in there? Maybe there's some entrance that we don't know of? I can go and have a look, I suppose. I can help with that. I've dealt with plenty of crooks. Sure. Oh, well, don't tell me there's another, like, hidden basement that we don't know about. Well, they might know how to pick locks, too. That's well, always an option. In which case, they could just oh, go in through the right. front door. Of course. The usual way. But I'll probably be confronted. Good uh, morning. Um. Oh, hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. He's hmm. gonna ah, Khalil, my son. Just go with uh, it. Who are your friends? Uh, Lord Erhard. One of the two. And his Lord knight. Erhard. Pleasure. Uh, so yes, Parker. that name is familiar. It's a pleasure to meet you both. And you? I'm... Mm. Uh, uh, on my way to work. Uh, if you both would excuse me while I tend to the pigs. Oh. Safe travels. Yes, of course. Uh, gods be with you. Sarah, be what he can do. Take your word for I'm it. Shocked. <clears throat> to the power of farmers. But we'll have to search for that. Okay. We need to have people inside now. Okay. Because I relied on Gavam. I told him I would stay in there. He said it would be fine. Nothing bad would happen. So the wrath isn't just from me. Technically, still owing them money, but not the amount that they claim. But they're more pissed off that their goods were stolen. Okay. Hmm. Because it could happen in the future again. Yes. Okay. So they okay. need assurances so we just that need it won't to mitigate again, it, right? And we need to try and mm. quell their fears, I suppose, right? Yes. Yeah, so run down the checklist of all security measures that we're able. Okay. They're also calling me lazy. You. <laughs> you do shit oh, around God. here. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you put the farm on your back. Uh, you should have saw it when I first came here. <laughs> oh. Shall we go to the tavern then? I will. Uh, that would be wise. Meet you there. Okay. Huh. I'm going to have to talk with him as well, because he faced my uh, 
issue from yesterday. I see. Right. I'll talk to Gabum about upping security and then, yeah, make your way over when you can. All right. <clears throat> Oh gosh, the farmers are exposed. My lord, could you yell at my son for me? He won't listen. He just went inside. Do you want to grab him, Marcus? Uh, no, he's on his way. He is on his way to talk to you. It's fine. I'll, I'll do it myself. I was just going to ask him to. Don't worry, bring me my, bag of my, my, my knight's on his way. Things. Don't worry. Guzman. We are looking for Harry. Looking for Harry? He, uh, a civil dispute between him and his workers. Yeah, I am trying to get to the bottom of it. Today? He just popped into his house. He'll be out in a minute, I think. Well, well, it's pretty important others. to get everything get sorted others. out now, so. All right, I'll go run and get him. At least I think he went into his house. You haven't seen Harry, have you? The guard's been. He's in his house. I'll go get him. This is the um, pay Can dispute, you tell no? New Capitano. I wish to see him at some yes, point. It appears. Yep. Um, he is refusing to pay the full payment that his farmers oh, believe. No, it was, uh, he, they are owed the for the food yes. that they've been giving him. I've heard that these farmers are demanding payment that is uh, uh, exceptionally higher than what the actual food is worth. Those gods these days, no respect. Well, that's why we're trying to get all the details, sir. But yes. regardless, uh, that group seems pretty agitated, to say the least. Harry's burning a lot of bridges, it seems. Yes, I heard as yes. much. You can talk in my home. Nope. That will not be necessary. Well. We just need to get an accurate account of things. As we've okay. already received a statement from the crowd of farmers who claimed the price of their services was, I believe, 14, worth 14 silver, if I remember the, correctly. Between the gentleman and the out. woman, I think so. I think they that, said it was more than that, but... The... We made a verbal agreement on the goods that were done. I paid them four, and I would have owed them another four worth of eight silver. They only provided me 43 units worth of raw foods while they demanded 14, which is highway robbery for one unit of food. You'll forgive me. Was this in writing anywhere between the two of you? Or, well, the group and you? No, but there are other farmers around, and I keep logs that I have It wasn't in made. writing. Considering the times, <sighs> considering the times, they're allowed to charge what they choose, but this is a civil dispute. The point of the matter is, there isn't much us as guards can do to reinforce whatever they're saying is due. But... We should warn you that they are threatening their things within the keep as well. Anything that they are selling up there and their families that are up there are starting to talk apparently they've been talking for weeks since this began and the fact that they've right. got their heated <laughs> not to mention uh, as a friendly are we on hard times i will <laughs> make this simpler for everyone so that this doesn't become a big headache I will pay them what they asked for. But in turn, I would like to write up a document visibly shown to you, Godman, that the names that I written that write down are barred from the pipeweed field. I mean, I don't think... We don't have any sort of say over what decisions they make with a pipeweed field. That's something you would have to guarantee with those farmers. Well, I own the land. I would also I say... I paid for it. That will damage your uh, relations with them, barring them from more farmland. If they wish to use it, they can pay for it. 
That is your choice. We're... We're not here... Whatever. We're not here to negotiate on your behalf or those farmers. We're here to I get understand. a report completed. Beyond that, we're only here as a courtesy, beyond that, as a warning. To let you know what they've been threatening. And with well, debt collectors can... in a boom currently, with the situation with the robber baron... It's fair enough to assume that would have been their next step. Then can I at least have this document written with... At least one of the that guardsmen? Would... As we a... can have a guardsman... We can have a guardsman present. But whether they sign that document or choose to do so is between you and the farmers. The, we can't they, guarantee anything in that behalf. They technically have no choice. See, the pipeweed field, I have the deed to. It's signed under my name. Everything about it, I paid for. Now, I was going to allow all of them to be able to use the field as a courtesy to help us all. But, obviously, they are using a verbal agreement to swindle me, per se. So, it's just for the ones that are demanding the extra funds that were not agreed upon. I believe he just wants to be made sure Once that again. All the other it farmers. would be enforced by the guards. We cannot em Once again, as guards, we cannot enforce an agreement between you and anyone else. No, no, that, the trespassing. That is between you and that person. It would be considered trespassing. I see. So you're going to... For only the farmers' it... names that I write down. I understand. I, I completely understand what you're asking for in that point. You're wanting us to enforce the document that you're having them sign, which is not our job, either. If they trespass, Your go ahead. Your job isn't Find to one of us. property? No, you that's a mercenary's mercenary job. To protect your land. <laughs> it is not if our I job may. to guard your land on your behalf. Do you not? Harry, did you tell them you're trespassing them to not enter your land? Did you tell these farmers that? I'm going to, with this written document. Oh, okay. They can't so, do anything until you, you tell them. Can you go ahead yeah. and send one of your sergeants, then? <laughs> I'm sorry, our sergeant... Our sergeant is not going to do anything different in this situation in regards to it. A sergeant is no. going to tell you the same thing. It is not our job or our responsibility but to guard your piece have, of land. I already have a agreement with the sergeant of having extra protection around here. I would just be informing him of... Correct. The action. general area. We are aware of the terms of the agreement For in place. Bandits, orcs, robber baron. Correct. Not a civil Things dispute between you and the farmers. Mm. So and this is a civil dispute, the same as anything else. If they trespass, you can bring it up to the keep. But for right now, there's nothing we can do about that. Then I'm fine with that. Go ahead and tell the farmers to come back to me. They will get their pay, and I will write up a document. <laughs> it is not, Excuse once again, not our job to find your civil dispute and have it resolved. We are here to write a report, and that is it. If you'd like to find those farmers, then find your farmers. That is it for our job. Shall we, gentlemen? Yes. Have a blessed day. Rest of your day. <sighs> mm. Why are we dealing with farmer business? <clears throat> I think right. they uh, <laughs> misinterpreted what you were trying to do there. I, yeah, I am just a little. It's either... Uh, I don't even know at this Why point. Are the here? Are we in trouble? I guess the guard's mm. job isn't to protect people's property. No, but they're supposed to enforce the laws, no, i.e. if they're trespassing, they're supposed to persecute on that, is what we were trying right. to get them to understand, but they were too uh, uppity. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I tried. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I've That's seen them one of the handle this more before. Clear, they're more clear-minded. Yeah. Right. Mm, well, it's not like... Hudman must be new. Yeah. Well, they, they don't handle stuff like the Merchant's Guild or the Mercenaries Guild. They want you to tell these farmers yourself, not in, with paper, because they probably well, can't read. 
but to tell them you don't be going on here. And then if they do, you catch them in the act. He got swindled you because it yeah. wasn't a written agreement before. It needs to be written now. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> that's why hmm. I'm going more written now, because they're pulling this Don't on me, this so boy. it's how far I'm going to have to go. A lot of red tape for a farmer. Well, oh, gosh, they... <laughs> right. <laughs> what, they want you to hire a merc to stand out there and make sure... No you you understand? <laughs> 14 silver... <laughs> to 43 units that's 25 copper a unit yeah it's a lot yeah oh, i need to start carrying my party to get my son so from what i'm hearing they want him to hire a merc to just stand out there as a scarecrow so no one messes with um, they misunderstood no, that all he wanted them to do was to there. enforce it's the law when it came ones. up they they took it as well we're not going to guard it see, no yeah. that's not what we want you to do <laughs> <laughs> we if just want you, you to arrest them if they break the law. Yeah, I understand what you're trying to say. We could still do that. Yeah, be, but, that's fine. Uh, I'll keep them off the property if you can get me a list. I'll I'll get you a list. Don't worry. Thank you, my boy. I'll make sure no one trespasses for you. Oh, um, while you're out today, if you could pick up another sack of chicken feed i'd be most grateful we're nearly out i will do so as the old man begins to walk forward you see him slip on a set of filth on the ground and right into a large pile of it in his face are you oh. two father and son oh marcus oh huh. he's a war veteran that's not no, the, the resemblance is striking. To... Oh, okay. I was asked to take care. Of... I'm going to the bathhouse. <laughs> of course. Right. <laughs> okay, so um, I will have right, some flowers. Later. I'm gonna have to help these farmers. Well, deal with the farmers before it gets escalated. Okay. Do you want us to talk to go bum, mm. or should we wait for you? Go ahead and talk to him. Right. I still have to get myself okay. unbanned from the tavern. <laughs> unbanned? What happened? Is it like that we just discussed? Or... No, no, it's a different problem I had yesterday. Oh. Uh, all right. I hope things turn out better for you uh, today. <laughs> I certainly hope so. Hmm. What's the town criers? Hmm. I forgot what they were going to town cry about. Hmm. Although this is a good lesson. Everything on paper. Even if they can't read. I think I do yeah. fairly well. Yeah, it's done. I was just going to do the entire day. I prefer the trap. Uh, called uh, Draugr, Aestro, Ice Giants, Good Red morning. Orcs, uh, other morning. clans. Lovely morning. They have fur, they have yes. Lovely, muggy, humid morning, indeed. Marcus? <laughs> yes. Wondering if we could talk to you about uh, the theft that happened. Most certainly, my lord. Would you want to step back here, or shall we... We can step back there. ...find it about here. Very good. Mm. <clears throat> <sighs> <clears throat> okay, so yes, we'll start with one thing at a time, I suppose. Harry has agreed to pay the farmers what they have requested, which would be mm -hmm. the equivalent of 25 copper per piece of raw food, which is obscene, <sighs> but he's agreed yes. to, to let bygones be bygones. Um... <sighs> 
they're in a bit of an uproar, and we're hoping to kind of settle it a bit by ensuring that this doesn't happen again. Now, what steps have been done that we can tell them have happened here so that, you know, we can point to and be like, hey, we're working on it. It's not going to happen again. I mean, unfortunately, my lord, unless we can find whoever took the food, there's not much else I can do. I mean, the best I can think of is I swap out anything they send to me and I store it in here first and put my own wares out in the extra storage. But if I get robbed again, then it's just me getting robbed. Yeah, I see. I did some digging, um, talked to some whispers about who might have done this. Apparently, they've pretty much vanished off the face of the earth. Now, it's troublesome yeah. because normally with something like this, if it's just random thieves or brigands, they would brag about it or you'd hear about it or there'd be a trail somewhere. The fact that we've heard absolutely nothing mm. about this makes me worry that this is more so of this a, someone with a motive? professional thing. Mm. Uh, someone's at the door. By all means. Well, if the Marcus will take care of it. Have you considered yes, getting guards Marcus. or mercenaries to help protect? And guard my stores 24-7? I know. That would be very expensive, my lord. Oh, oh. Don't slam the door. I didn't slam it, it's just shutting it. <laughs> We can talk about that afterwards. Let's figure out the problem of the theft. Okay. As it stands, from my point of view, the only thing I can ensure that this does not happen again is that I prioritize the farmer's goods in my storeroom over my own. Which just leads to the problem, if I get robbed again, then it's just me getting robbed. I would need some kind of other extra storeroom that is secure and locked and not just sitting out in the middle of the town that can be apparently just taken without the guards noticing. What about the extra rooms that are being built right now? I'm down to construction, but... Um... Uh, maybe, but again, that's incomplete and I wouldn't nearly have a stable place to store it all. There's going to be contamination of the food if it stores up there and too much, you know, mm. saw wood gets into it. You know, something falls right. in and contaminates it, that's not going to help. So you need a storage mm. place? At the very least, some place that can be locked away, and not just sitting out in the middle and hoping that the guards can be easily notice. accessed by those who need it. You can't put them in here? <sighs> yes, that's what I'm saying. I can store it in here, but then I'm putting my goods oh, out there. Oh, there's not enough room. I see, I see, I see, I see. Alright, there's yes. too much. Yes, I have a lot okay. of back orders, and I do feed most of the town, so I have to keep a lot in stock. Yes. And you have a lot of eyes on this place, so they would know if it has moved somewhere, if people are moving boxes. Yes, and I've been getting a lot of shipments recently due to the reopening of the trade routes, so... I came into know. this thinking that it had already been in here, not sitting out in the streets. Is that what those boxes are? Yes, my lord. No okay, one has yeah. gotten in here. I sleep in here, for goodness sake. I see the issue, <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, hmm. Don't suppose you have a basement, do you? <laughs> no, my lord. I have this, and mm. I have my inn upstairs. Okay, so you need somewhere secure to store it, rather than sitting out in the street. Right. Essentially, yes. The problem with moving it somewhere else, though, is that's another target. Well, right. at least then it would be behind yes. a locked also door. Have to be protected. Yes. At the very least, there's mm -hmm. something in the way. And if something tries something, perhaps you could, I don't know, set the trap of your own? Something that allows you to use your own resources? Okay. Wonder if Clifford has any storage space down in his little brewery bit down there. No, because we just rebuilt the damn thing, and he's looking to start up his operations once more. Once He'll need the space himself. Mentally stable. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, there's a couple of places up here, um, next to the place that got burned. Any of those houses? The chance. <sighs> I mean, anything that I don't own outright, I'd have to talk to the landlords. Is that Sarah's? Oh, right. 
Yeah, I see. The Unless issue. you yourself own it outright, I'm going to have to spend money one way or the other. Right. And I don't have much lying around. Nor is this really the thing you want to be spending money on. Exactly. So it's a bit of a conundrum. I see the issue, yes. Hmm. It would take a lot too long to make anything, dear, since we're already under construction, so. I mean, by the time something is constructed, I could be hit five times more over. Right. If they're going to do it again. Surely there's a safe spot we know of we could do now. Hmm. What about the docks? A bit far away, isn't the it? Docks. Unless there's a better spot that's close by. And, well, again, that's the matter storage. comes... I'd have to probably rent the space, unless you know someone who has space down there that owes you a favor. Unless you know someone that has warehouse space that can lend to you. Shit. It either comes down to... It comes down to having money or having the favor of someone, and I have neither. To solve the issue, so... I can fix the problem, but it just makes a new one. Um... You can reach out to the merchants' guilds, right? Some of the more affluent people there, maybe they could solve the problem. You'd have to rent space from them. Sure we were at the merchant guild yesterday, you or saw how packed it was too. They charge a premium. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, but they have control over the warehouses, yes? Theoretically. Yes, there's a good number of them in there. But you have to remember that the Imperials yeah. own two-thirds of the dock now. Everything that was in there has been moved. They're probably hurting for space just as much. Mm -hmm. Then again, with the stalwart going down. The, where the dwarves used to be, right? There's a storage mm. thing right there. That's true. I don't know who owns that now, though. Oh, we could ask. Weren't we attempting right. to gain that as well? Yeah, I thought uh, your father was either looking into it or had tasked you or someone else to look into it. I'm That's sure. more his kind of thing. I'll, um... We can ask him who, if he actually asked, who owns it, right? And then... Would that be acceptable? It's a bit of a way away, but it's better than being on the open. And it's closer to us. We can keep well, an eye on it. Yes. Would yeah, be we can defend it. And... Mm. Yes, with you all being around it, I think whoever's stealing would be a lot less likely to give it a try, knowing it's right next to where you all are. And... On one end, it's all the Imperials on one end, and then it's us on the other, so... And we're also building up things around that area to make it more secure, too. And we'd only charge you five silver a day for it, so really, it's like a bargain. <sighs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> I'm kidding, right. of course. Of course right. Okay. Well, it's something. This it is something. Yes. Relies on on being able to get that house, though. We'll have to see. I can talk with him when I see we him can next. Go and... Ask him if he's in. Yeah. Okay. Then I suppose that's what I'll do. <sighs> hmm. Um. For the moment, if it's required, I can start moving. <clears throat> if I get any more shipments from the farmers, I can start switching it out in here, but that's about all I can yeah, promise. That might I can help move stuff too. Hmm. Right. At least with them, the last group I had to deal with. Long story short, they're trying to swindle me. Right, no, I, I heard. Mm. 25 per unit? Yeah. I'm gonna pay them, because at this point I have no choice. No, not really. The only thing that I'm gonna do as a repercussion for it, though, is small, but one less thing for them. I'm barring them from the pipeweed field. Um, 
it's ultimately your business if you feel it is necessary. Now, a good thing, I'm going to have more hands coming to the farm due to an arrangement that I made with another farmer. So, if they start cutting their goods towards you, I'll start transferring their goods to you. Right. The more you can get to me, the less we'll hurt from if they do really follow through on not giving us access to their goods anymore. I'll uh, let you guys shake this out. I'm gonna go see if I can talk to Arn. I'll let you guys know what pops up. Thank you, my lord. Hmm. Mm. Have a good one. So if you would speak on behalf of him, you will okay. go home. You missed out every <sighs> right. So that people can get... You can just have him now. say her... Her? Her? Her. Mercenaries. a woman. You I'm blend sure. right in with the fog, you know that? Good day. I know, it's amazing! <laughs> I was just thinking about that. <laughs> no one can tell oh, Lady Selene. Me and Marin to too. Look at Marin. Uh, <laughs> Selene. But sure. Selene. Dorothy. Mm. Yeah. Best friend. Oh, that's what I see every day. Love it. Mm -hmm. But, um... I'm so sorry. Is, uh, Venora free? I don't see Marcus with her anymore. She just left out that way. I'm just Probably. glad that it's overcast Back so I can home. actually fucking see. Who was with her? <laughs> right. Uh, well, it was just I um. You saying, wolf. You had a hard time seeing in the daylight, right? Was she not supposed you might to be go? able to catch her? They were walking. Let's go. Oh. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, keep up. <laughs> what the fuck? I'll, I'll I'll let you have fun with that. They're doing something. Good I'll luck. Let... Thanks. <laughs> I'm half tempted to chase after them just to piss them off. I could sell you into slavery. Perhaps then you'd be of some fucking use to somebody. Which will it be, Gwen? Slavery? Whoa! Did you catch her? Hold up. Because it's having a heart attack. I didn't see any confirmation that they're in the keep. I can ask. You don't think they're heading home? Is there something that should be known about them right now if they're supposed to be inside <laughs> not meant to fucking the leave the city or my house for that matter i didn't see them go out the gate no shine fucking further down phenomenal didn't get too far. no that's fair all right well you need help <sighs> No, we I'll won't find her in this fucking time. fog. If she is out there, she might right. be up at the keep. Oh. Fuck's sake. Most She's likely, I don't think she'd be stupid enough. Really fucking playing it fast and loose if she is. Yeah. They said uh, she didn't uh, actually come this way. I watched her. Hmm. Well, they said that she, she didn't leave. Hmm. Maybe she came back through. 
Yeah, it must have been. She might be at Harry's. Have we checked there? Well, we've been with Harry, but... I'm gonna do one more run through in the town. Have Good day, Lady Ladia. Alright. Good morning. Mm. It is morning. I'm sorry, Arco. Mm. We're done. Yes, we get her endurance up. You should definitely be training right. her. Except to decide your fate, Drain. <sighs> Rolling. Shieldbrook? Hey, uh. Debt collectors. Well, Soma, right here. Survive his injury. The city is ripe with them, apparently. Regardless, she's gonna get. Uh, you see his kneecaps destroyed. Right. Right. Freaking out. I try to give him a healing potion <laughs> or two, and it didn't work. Can you see if you can see his feet? Yeah, three. I'll take care of that. What oh, news that. from uh, the north? Move. The north? Who was looking for you? Uh, Alright, so. No, so I looped around. Sure. Went out that way and just came around right? following the wall. For her door. The news is that it looks uh, foggy over there, though. <clears throat> though, yesterday we did run into a pack of orcs, right. 20 or 30 of them. So I'd be careful if you leave that way. Yeah. I thought we dealt with the orcs. <laughs> no, they lay dormant while the war was going on. Now that it's. Died God, down, they're Morris. taking the opportunity. We were going to <coughs> the war with the robber baron picked up before we were able to do anything. Now they have a forge, stronghold, and camp inside of the crags. Who's breaking all these doors? Great! That's magnificent. One storm passes and another stops to form, huh? Quite literally. Out of the frying pan. And into the fire. Since he has broken kneecaps, it's only fair to say that I'm going to be using two splints. That's a lot. We were going to take care of it, but nobody furthered the plans of the people who ended up dying trying to have that happen. Gonna be a worse time either. Not to mention how everyone's forces have been weakened in the recent war. It's nothing serious. It's just something small. My dandy heart. Mm-hmm. I'll need to speak with you later. I'll be at the house. Protect them with your life, Claudia. Oh yes, I know that. Oh, um, <laughs> thank you. But they didn't. No problem, no problem. Just glad that you're all right. Do you have a place to stay here somewhere? I. Wow, everyone wants their attention. It's sanctioned. But it already was. 
I'll be uh, just a moment. My house is literally this. I'm oh, silver pain because I need all of the travel and all of up dying. Come. She'll be able to. God damn it. Uh, if you don't really have a place to stay here, the best place that I can try and bring you is over. Well, I can let you know. Here, I'll, I'll tell you. She told me. Only place to have try and some sort of comfort I can try and. Maybe I can find us. I just want to make Marcus insane, so we're going to talk about it all the way over here. So, longer she's able to move around the town freely now to do her work. I know that. Legally, yes, she's no longer under house arrest. Yes. But that doesn't fucking matter if a servant of Ash is going to take her fucking head off at the first opportunity. We need to be there with her regardless, whether it's against the law or not. You see my Fair concern? Enough. She felt that it... Yes, she felt oh, that traveling with Wolf be... would be enough protection, at least during the daytimes. No. The no, three of not. us are cleared to <clears throat> be good for it. You too. And where I'm the fuck is she now? Have, uh, stayed with him. I'll go check. She's with Cade. But he's not. He's not of the list. <laughs> fuck. She is often never alone, anyways. <sighs> Let's. The, the three of us I'm... here are the only people cleared. The three. They have to ask to be one of us. She needs to understand that. That's not gonna go over well with anyone. That's <laughs> how it was supposed That's to cool. fucking be. I don't get it. Okay, well, I, I'll go look. But the whole thing was the circumstances changed. She probably communicate that they have. She is still in danger, whether or not it's against the fucking rules or not. Yes. And when she's in danger, we're in danger. She needs to know that. And I'd love to fucking tell her that, but she's off again. Well, if I see her, I'll make her very aware of the situation. Please do. Nothing has changed. I'm just 